Hey everybody, this is Kendra Potato. Welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun. We're on part 14. Um, I hate to say this, but I already recorded this video once today. Yes, I did. This is the second try. try. And the thing about it is, I recorded part 14, then I went to start recording part 15, re accidentally recorded it as part 14, so I recorded over it. Sad times. So that means I had to, oh man, I had to go all the way through the game again up until this point. It took like an hour. It was really, really annoying. And now everything's not quite exactly the same. I think my equipment is a little bit different, and obviously my experience and my coins are a little bit different now. But I have all the same gin, and I have I've done pretty much everything else. Um, so uh, I don't want to do this again. Uh, well, I guess in a way it's all right because I got my butt kicked. Uh, in the last recording of this video, so... Anyway. So, here we are. I just got through that thing down there, and... Here's Tret. These are the trees that were talking to us back in Kalima when they tried to turn us into trees. And I hope I didn't scro scroll through all that too quickly for you, but... If we mind read him, do not do anything. They just talk about the same stuff. Alright, so... As I was saying, start by climbing this, this vine here, into the tree. And we're inside Trent now. Mm, go up here, run through here. Oh, these are different. These are the upgraded form of the maze, the creepers. I remember seeing them last game, last recording. Oh well. I need to stop talking about that though. Not relevant. Not relevant at all. Man, they better not kill Ivan. I'm gonna not be happy if they do that. For real, real. Toast. Toast not gonna be happy. Dows. Oh, they killed him. Oh no. Oh, you get that experience. Uh, fortunately, I've got that water of life. Oh, I didn't want to have to use that. Hmm. Oh, well. I was hoping to keep that water of life safe uh, until the boss battle in here, because then, then I wouldn't have to um, worry about dying in that battle. So when you come out here, oh, these are spiders. These, these suck. I think these are the ones that can actually poison you. But I was mixing up with uh, the drones earlier. Of course, they haven't poisoned me yet, and they drop antidotes, so you're probably safe from them. There we go, killed it. Good stuff. Anyway. As you walk out outside of the tree here, it's covered in leaves, blocking your vision, but you've got this bubble of, of visibility around you. So you can see, you can have a limited sight of what you're doing. Um, we got these leaves here. If you jump on them, they shatter. If you jump back on them, you will fall through. I'm not going to do that right now. I want to get going. But you'll, be ha you'll have to do that a little bit later. So if you go up this way, we got a vine. This will take us to the next, the next floor, if you will, of the tree. So we go in here. And I don't think there's anything to the south, so we're gonna... Well, I started to say there was nothing to the south, but that's a bunch of hoopla. But regardless, we're gonna get this first. Check the chest. That's a healing ring. That will... If each time is a usable item, and each time you use it... You can equip it, but it doesn't do anything. Each time you use it, you will, you can recover roughly, excuse me, 70 HP. Of course, after you use it a handful of times, it'll break. Alrighty. Uh, it'll break, and then you'll have to get it repaired if you so chose. So choose. At the beginning of the game here, it's probably you might as well get it repaired maybe once. I'm saying something about the ring, but whatever. I'm probably gonna save that until I, um... Until I get to the boss battle. Just so I don't have to waste synergy on some turns. Because you'll need all that you can get, probably. 
out. Is this... I really need to stop saying things. I was starting to say that this is the, the southern entrance exit that uh, doesn't have anything in it, but I was wrong because I was actually right the first time that that first one didn't have anything, and this was the one that did. Okay, so here we're about to have a fight with a Jupiter Ginny. Save your game here. Save it. Save it. The last time I recorded this video, I had to do five takes because this Ginny likes to run. So let's hope it doesn't take that long this time. Let's go for it. Bam! So here it is, the Jupiter Ginny. Uh, go all out. Go all out. Use your Synergy. Use your Gin. Just do it. You, you might not, quite, might as well not waste your time. I mean, it's weak to earth, earth attacks, but use everybody. You might as well, because the more you can stop it from running, the quicker you can stop it from running away, uh, the better off you're gonna be. However, on the other hand, heals, heals like crazy when you can, because he will kill you. And especially now, since I've already used my water of life, he kills me. I'm gonna have to leave, go all the way back to Billabin, shoot, um, and, and revive somebody at a sanctum. And that's gonna be a pain. It's gonna be such a pain. I think I'm actually gonna heal everybody right now. Uh, you first, because you're fast. And then you two. And then... I hate to have to do this, because it just gives him a big opportunity. Ah, ha ha, yes, there's no escape. And he's wasted a turn there. I think he only gets one turn per turn per round. Sweet. All right. Let's keep going here. And hopefully this last round will get him. I should be thorough. Damn it. Yes. 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 First take. Sweet. He killed. He killed. Uh, first take last time. He killed Isaac, and then he ran away. So I just started over. And then every other subsequent time, he kept running away. By the way, um, Ivan just became uh, a magician when I uh, attached Breeze, my new Ginny, to him, and he gained impact, which I don't really use, but it's nice to have. So head in here, grab this. Alrighty. go around again. So hang on. Come back down this way. And kill this gnome. Unlike a lot of the enemies we've already fought, the gnome will use synergy against you, I'm pretty sure. And that could be really annoying. So come on, kill him. And he got killed. Sweet. Let's come back in here. Yeah, I was right, we gotta come back in here. Boy, boy. Man, those gnomes can be a pain. Let's heal up here and we can keep moving. Yeah, this recording is going a lot better than the other one. I'm seeing a bigger variety of monsters. I didn't see the, the gnomes at all last last time. And I didn't have to record five tries at that Ginny. And overall, I'm feeling a lot better. Alright, so the trick in this room is that leaf in the middle we have to get into and fall through. So jump on it here and then jump back. And you will fall through all these holes that we saw on previous floors. And we will land right in here where our next boss battle will take care of, will happen. Now, I strongly suggest that you take advantage of the fact that this room does not have any random encounters in it. Heal up and run around. Just run around. Get all your synergy back up, because even though you're not encountering any monsters, it's still a hostile area, you might say. And you will recover your synergy by running around. You just take a peek there and run around and run around and run around. Well, I'm gonna do the rest of this off screen. And um then I will stop this for now, because I don't know how long this boss battle is gonna stop gonna take. So I will say goodbye for now and then heal up in the meantime and I will see you on part 15. Part 15? I'm not gonna screw this up again. Part 15. Uh, this has been Kinder Potato. Thanks for watching. Bye!